All right, joining us now, he's a really big deal. He's a big deal. I know. Deal. I'm told this. I'm not very pop culture, and I'm sorry. Comedian, movie star, author, and host of the show Brand X, Russell Brand. This summer, he's embarking on his first ever worldwide comedy tour, The Messiah Complex. Caddy Kay and Brian Shackman are here as well, and he already told Brian that he might want to disrobe. I'm just saying. Well, I just thought maybe I could loosen up a little, show a little more chest hair, and he no, said maybe I should I do a little more. I only think Russell can do that. You look fantastic. Yeah. That is a very kind compliment. You also look beautiful. Brian, you are free to wear whatever you want. This is one of your freedoms that is afforded to you. I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Silver uh, boots? The boots are I want to fabulous. see them. Come on. Put them Come on, on the on. table. Kinky boots oh, time. Wow. So there are some boots. boots. Those are nice. Very put your feet up. Relax. Um, I wouldn't do that. I don't want to disrespect your program. Okay, no, no. We, you did ask to see no, the I did, boots. I, and I like a fellow English woman, so and we I do, obliged. We talked about kinky boots recently. So yes. It's a it fantastic show. You have to go. Yes. Okay, Russell. Ooh, <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that's all right. You just like, <laughs> disrespected the table. The table Giant just, Jenga. Um, it's like your desk is a puzzle. It is. I'm sorry about that. What is Can the I solution? I think we, we could walk back in. So, there you right. go, love. Be Russell careful, because that's a low-cut dress. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm only flesh and blood. I've got instinct. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, um, tell me what you need to know. Um, I'm just going to have a drink here. Yeah, Caddy K, Caddy K, question. Messiah Complex, that's the name of your tour? Yes. Do you have one? No. It's oh. a mental illness. Right. And you don't have that either? <laughs> I hope that I'm here as a fully qualified <laughs> professional gentleman. None of us are. Free from mental illness. <laughs> free from it. None of you. Yeah. This is a hotbed of neurosis of and insanity. psychosis. Yes. Oh. Yeah. oh, my word. I'm grateful to be here. Yeah. But Joe's not here, so there are no messiahs. That's true. Although we actually bring more um, mental illness to the table than yeah. we admit, at least That's on true. this side here, sure, for sure. On this side. Um, so tell me about the tour. You're starting in Abu Dhabi. Is that where it began? Yeah, it's in the in a lot of Middle Sorry. Eastern nations and South Africa and all across Europe and of course in your wonderful country and in our country. I'm very, very, yeah, it's a really good tour. I'm talking about Malcolm X, Che Guevara, Gandhi and Jesus Christ and how these figures are significant culturally, culturally and how icons are appropriated and used to designate consciousness and meaning, particularly posthumously. And what brings all those people together? They're all people that died for a cause. They're all people whose icons are used to designate meaning, perhaps not in the manner in which they intended. Mm. Mm. I kind of like that. Yeah. That sounds yeah. dead serious. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's funny when you do yeah. it as a joke. Funny? I don't take it seriously. I'm just going to do it on stage. Can't we get, like, you know, 30 seconds now? Well, not really, love. I mean, Gandhi, this is go. Wow. Gandhi, go. Gandhi, go. Gandhi, go. I hope that's yeah. not your message Gandhi. to Gandhi and the people of India. <laughs> You know, I, you know it's it's funny though because I, I travel a lot. And well, these people are at work, are they? Yeah, they're working. Yeah. They're just at work. Well, no. Work more quietly. They're facebooking actually. <laughs> what are they doing? Facebooking. Yeah. They're facebooking. Yeah, yeah. Shopping. I bet they can't look at pornography. I bet it's blocked on their oh, website. Oh, huh? I don't know. I don't know. They look pretty focused. <laughs> But they're allowed to look at and if they wanted to, they can tweet, they can Facebook. Yeah. They yep. have to, that's part of they're their job. They're probably tweeting right now. They're tweeting themselves mm. senseless back there. Yeah. Lovely. That's, that's to create the atmosphere of we're a hotbed of it's news. It's a working news. <laughs> yeah. They're actually actors. They're, they're all fully qualified <laughs> we rented actors. Them. Yeah. They're all just now looking for acting work. So people, I mean, you have a pretty broad range here. I'm going to ask a serious question. Can yeah. I try? I'll try. Try. It's never okay, going to work. I'll try. Go ahead. Everyone asks, what do you like better, TV, movies, or stand-up? Which actually, which one's more difficult? I mean, going on stage, I think, is probably pretty tough. A movie can be boring because you just shoot a thing a hundred times. TV is what it is. There are uh, challenges in all of those different disciplines. The thing I enjoy most is stand-up comedy because you're direct with your audience. You can't be misinterpreted. People can't get confused. You know what happens if you work in media? People like to uh, change the information so that it suits a particular agenda. If you're in a room of people, then what you're saying is clear. If you say something that, pe that people are confused about, you can explain it to them then. If you say something because a joke, people can't pretend that you're saying it seriously so I like having direct communication with people because I believe people are very very intelligent but the information gets manipulated a lot and people like to cause like you know fake stirs and stuff you know funny the accent you know when I see him in person 
that's totally fine. Forgetting Sarah Marshall or the TV show, it's fine. But on satellite radio in the car, I can't understand a single joke you, you say. You can't understand no. it. Can you I understand can't. me? Yes, but no, I'm telling you, when I'm driving in the car and he's, everyone's laughing in the audience of the radio, I'm like, I have no idea what he's saying. It's best you focus on your driving, Brian. <laughs> You're a man, you don't want to be distracted by humor. You might crash into right, a pedestrian. Okay. So it's a good thing. I think it's probably for the best. I think I'm just... My, this is my first um, brand experience. Brand, mm -hmm. yeah. The, I think it's not listening to him. It's ex it's experience. It's just sort of taking it all in. You are talking about me as if I'm, I'm not here and as if I'm an extraterrestrial. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm from a country well, that's kind of near to you. Window dummy. We're just sort of admiring the whole. You know, it's the whole thing. Isn't well, it? thank you for it's your like casual objectification. <laughs> it's an experience. I'm it glad that experience. it's positive for it's you. It's very positive, yeah. absolutely. Any more? Any other questions? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> You've become nervous. I am. Why are you nervous? Really? No, I'm You're nervous. a powerful woman. You've oh, got a lovely yes. job. What seems to be the trouble? I don't know. You've got hair like Princess Diana. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I've never when seen she was no, alive. No, here's wasn't being here's, 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 here's a little away. subtext. Yes. I'm petrified of her. And you oh, have her yeah. on her heels. And she's just moved down the other I absolutely table. love this. Keep, keep, keep Willie, what's going. The, okay. What seems to be the trouble, love? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, We're now going to do a bit of therapy. Would you do therapy with Willie Brandt? With who? Willie Brandt. Would you do therapy with him? Um, I don't think. Because that's where he's heading. Okay. I'm all right. Yeah. You shouldn't say he when a person is present. You should refer to the person by the name. That's basic good manners. That is where Willie is yeah. heading. Who is Willie? I don't know. Okay, Russell Brandt. Is this what you all do for a living? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. but I'm, I'm here to... I'm <laughs> Okay, well, let me help you. I'm here to Russell. promote a tour called Messiah Complex. It's here okay. for the people of America. I want the people of America to come and see me do stand-up. Go to russellbrand.tv where you can uh, purchase tickets to see me. These people, I'm sure, are typically very, very good at their job. What is it? You, you're conveying news to the people of America. Yes. People of America, you're, we're going to be okay. Everything's all right. These are your trusted... Anchors. Leaning. Lots yeah. Is that a news link? Yeah, Use your papers. I'll shuffle them for you. Yeah, shuffle. Look. Give us that. That's good. Pen. You need a pen. Okay. Uh, coming up later. Thank you Absolutely very much, Cat. Okay. We're going to be uh, talking Kat. about the uh, the talk uh, situation with Edward Snowden. This whistleblower. Is it good? What he's done for America, or, or are our secrets being jeopardised by his intentions? We're going to be talking about that. Also, Bradley Manning. Do you, is Bradley Manning an American hero, or is he compromising the safety of American troops? We care about your views here on Morning Joe. We'll be talking about those later. Here with me are Brian and Kat. Brian, nice time. What do you think about uh, Edward Snowden? What do you think about the, the situation with Snowden? Do we, uh, you, have you got anything to hide? Should we be concerned about he, the revelations that are occurring? I don't know what's wrong with you. I understand everything he's saying. Because no, you're looking at him. When you don't no. see him and you don't see the lips. I understand the, the whole thing. Stop he's saying good. he. Russell. I'm present. Russell. 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 What's wrong you're with your manners? Russell. You're good. Be polite. Uh, I'm coming in tomorrow with a big necklace and I'm opening it. Look beyond no, the superficial. That's no. the problem with current affairs. You, you forget about what's important. You allow the agenda to be decided by superficial information. What am I saying? What am I talking about? Don't think about what I'm wearing. These things are redundant. I'm distracted. Superficial. Okay. Don't well, be distracted. What do you think that gesture means, the way you're touching that bowl? What does that indicate? <laughs> what is that? What's the subtext of that? I think we got to go to break. You need to lose that <laughs> ring, Mika, because it don't mean nothing to you. <laughs> She's grasping I, for the shaft. She's a shaft grasper. <laughs> Russell, that was free, Russell. but it was worth the money. We'll, that was we'll great. buy tickets. That was Absolutely. Great. We don't need to see the tour. That I got fabulous. it now. Oh, the, the <laughs> Russell Messiah Brand. Complex. Thank you. The tour Messiah Complex. Don't in, be nervous. Starts in August in Abu Dhabi, right?